Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Stanley Parrish. I am a photographer and graphic designer. I also do video as well. But in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick Lightroom tip. Um, as you can see here, I'm in the studio, as usual, with a model named Kim. Um, she is up against a white backdrop, but I don't have any lights pointing at my backdrop to actually make it white. So all these pictures came out gray. Um, I put too much work on myself on this one because I had the attitude, you know, I just fix it in post instead of just properly lighting it, you know, from the, from the beginning. Um, what I normally do, I just put a light on both sides, aim it, to the, aim it at the backdrop, and that, and that gives me like a pure white background. So, you know, that's, that was a mistake on my part. I should have just did everything I could do to just get it right in camera. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I'm going to show you guys how to lighten your backdrops in Lightroom. And you can also use this too, this, the same technique to darken your backgrounds. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of photographers know about this tool in Lightroom. There's a lot of you no know, hidden features in Lightroom that you can use, but hopefully you guys can use this tip. Let me know down in the comments. Let's get to it. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna use an adjustment brush. We are using Adobe Lightroom. We're gonna use an adjustment brush to lighten the background. And you find that right over here on the right side. You're gonna click on where it says adjustment brush. All right. Where it says exposure, you wanna bring that all the way up. I'm gonna go all the way up to maybe like, I'm gonna choose three. And then if you look up at the top, the top right corner, this is your histogram. If you click right here on the right side, it's gonna say show highlight clipping. And that's gonna show you where your highlights are blown out on the image. So I'm gonna check that. So when, when those highlights start to um, get blown out, then it's gonna appear red. All right, so we set the exposure to three. I'm gonna come down, the feather is 28. Um, that's fine, I mean, you can bring it down if you want to. Flow is 100. Now here's the key. This is what you wanna do. You wanna make sure auto mask is checked right here. Make sure auto mask is checked. So what that's gonna do when you're painting, is gonna automatically mask out your subject. It's gonna brush around your subject automatically. So. You're going to choose a big brush and just brush. Make sure you start out on the backdrop and not on your subject. All right, so we're just going to brush just like this. And as you can see, it's pure white. As you can see, it's turning red at the bottom. So that's where the highlights are blown out. It's gonna be pure white. That, mean, that, that means there's no information there. It's just pure white. And we can turn the exposure up to four. Let's try that. Yeah, so now you can see we have more blown out right here. So normally around the details like in the, the chair legs right here and her hair, her body, I would use a smaller brush. Just kind of brush around like that. Like so. And you just keep going. I think this saves a lot of time so you want to go back and forth from Lightroom to Photoshop. I'm just gonna brush, I'm, just, I'm gonna do this real quickly just so you can see. Of course, you know, if you're working on this for a client, you wanna take more time with it to make sure it looks good. Just keep brushing. All right, then I'm gonna hit done. 
I'm going to click on my highlights right here to make the make the red stuff go away. And there you go. Let's check out the before. That's that's before. That's after. Before after. So now you have a pure white background. All right, I think that was easy. So let's I created another uh, virtual copy. So let's go over here. And we're going to do the same thing again to darken it. It's the same thing. You want to go to your adjustment brush. But this time you want to turn the exposure down. So I'm going to go down to maybe like two, negative two on the exposure. Same thing, just start brushing around on the backdrop and it's going to get darker like that. You see, since we have auto mask selected right here, it's automatically um, brushing around the subject. Use a smaller brush here. There we go. And then of course I would have to clean this up in Photoshop, but and then I'm gonna hit done and that's it. But like I said, you don't wanna rely on this all the time because I mean, it is time consuming. And you always want to try to get your, your pictures right in the camera. So, you know, we shouldn't rely on post-production for everything. But, yeah, I hope you guys were able to get some out of this video. Um, let me know if this helps you. Leave, Drop me a comment. Um, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to your channel, to this channel. And share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you on the next one.